and that's the thing yeah they really have to just be serious because if they're not serious then i'm tr- i'm not gonna waste my time yeah because some people are just trying to do it because it's in range and everybody's doing it yeah like you have to have your own objective like the consultation i had last night i was like so what are you trying to do my sis was like i don't know <laughs> she said i don't know so i kind of just guided her in the direction of the knowledge she already has and it was just like how about you just double down on the fact that you know how to sew and you know how to pattern make and all of those things but anyways um hi (laughs) um wow i haven't journal entry in a while I haven't done this in a while so very random but I'm currently in Antwerp in Belgium like two nights ago I, I got here yesterday today is the 20th look at the material and look at the wife <laughs> she's sick and tired <laughs> eighth of december 2021 i got here yesterday morning the day before that on the 26th um my friend farida she just offered me a trip she was like do you want to come to belgium i was like let me think about it and it took me like a few hours to think about it but then i remembered that um Ayo had recently been to Antwerp and like there were so many fashion things to do here so I was like actually yeah like it was already a 98% yes but then I was like actually yeah because my um goals for this my goals for this like winter break from school was actually like acquiring new knowledge on fashion and everything and it was supposed to be more through watching YouTube videos and listening to podcasts, but then a trip literally fell in my lap and yeah, I was like, actually, yeah. So today, um, wait, let me actually catch you up. Like yesterday I had like three consultations, <clears throat> excuse me, to, um, the last person, it was really nice to speak to them. But then I just rounded, I was supposed to have another consultation today, but then I have just rounded up consultations for the year. I'm not over it because I actually really like doing consultations, the introductory ones. And yeah, I was just like, actually, let me just take a break from Clarity Invincible for a few days, even though I literally just had like a mini meeting, as you just saw. And today i think i want to try the fashion museum like the fashion the momo i think it's called i watched um Udwaya's, um videos of when he was in antwerp and there was just so many things to do and i just like to do at least like half of the things maybe the weather is so trash like i honestly don't even want to be outside left to me i just stay here but i want to take advantage of everything that i can because i'm gonna have some tea now i've done yoga i've showered i just wore my pjs back because it's so cold it's so gloomy i don't like it i don't like this weather i don't like it Again. 
have to go get it. It's like Grand Central. Yes, literally <laughs> spotted Farida Salim Lukman in Antwerp. <laughs> wow, architecture is crazy. What are you posing? Okay, let's try voiceovers. I was going to do um kind of just a sit down recording of the experience and how it felt like just going through the museum. Um but God had other plans which you might see in the next journal entry um but just moving around it was really interesting i really loved how the museum had like the permanent collection but like the permanent collection wasn't just like old stuff it was pretty modern if you ask me very very modern stuff but also a mix of a mixture of old stuff like old archival pieces and more recent pieces and also pieces from the royal fashion academy i think that's what it's called which is actually situated at the top floor of the museum imagine a fashion school at the top of a fashion museum i thought that was really cool um so yeah like some of the students pieces were there as well in the midst of um a lot of like um well recognized fashion designers which i think is really cool kind of just setting up the the students for greatness if you ask me i liked how like in every in every room as you moved through the museum in every room it was very um how would i say the mood kind of changed. Especially with the emotion um, exhibition. With every room, it would just be like a completely different vibe. With the music, the, the lighting, the setup of the clothes. And I really like that because then... The mood kind of really reflected the the pieces that were there and the stories that they were telling. My eye just changed. It just was the wrong day. I thank God you came. How many more days could I wait? I made plans for you. And I won't let them fall go away. I, 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 I. I think I lied for you. I think I died for you. Joy is there was this room with the I think it was talking about um, I was talking about like world crisis in a sense like terrorism and war and things like that and um, there were some camel pieces um, and then Destiny's Child I'm what's the name of the song survivor 
was literally playing on repeat in the room and there was a video in the corner showing a terrorist attack and how the pilot jumped out of the pilot's pit um and he literally broke his arm you could see his arm like just lose its motion when he jumped out and he was still trying to escape and it was quite kind of triggering but it was also very interesting to see My AI just changed. It just was the front gate. I thank God you came. How many more days could I wait? I made plans for you. And I won't let them fall go. I think I lied for you. I think I died for you. Joy is the exhibition was very well rounded it was very very well rounded it was both talking about history talking about the present and talking about the future it was um it was a good way to kind of realize or see everything that's been that's happening in fashion in like one space Close on Sunday. You and my chick Close on Sunday. You don't like onions? Thank you. 